Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm quite glad there's a, there's a workshop next to in the next uh, room because uh, it means you're not here um, by by um, by pure hazard, so it's good. Um, um, so I will talk about uh, Musin now. Um, I will talk about it um, because it's an an conference. Uh, we could do a non talk. So please, if uh, you got questions, just ask them. Just fire it, and uh, and maybe if we change the course of this talk, it's okay. It's not a problem. Uh, um, I, yeah, uh, I don't own anything that that's, I will show you today, so, so it's, it's quite good. Um, so Muse and Now um, um, Creative Group, so uh, just two, two, two words about me, uh, because I'm not from the same background as most of you. Uh, I'm not a developer, I'm not a roboticist. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I call myself a freelance interaction and service designer, it's a big word for not much. Uh, really, really what I do is, uh, is I, I, um, I, I take uh, the people uh, you want to, uh, to work with, like your public, the people you, you, uh, you, um, you, you intend to, uh, to create interaction with, and, uh, and I design the, uh, the way the experience uh, is, uh, is made. Um, so, uh, so that's it, and that's why uh, I, I worked for, for Aldebaran. Uh, I'm also a game designer because, for me, uh, game game design is uh, is something like the the, the most advanced uh, today, the most advanced way to uh, to work on interactions. So, so that, that's some that's a field I'm exploring right now. Uh, uh, it's a bit different from what I will told told you about today, but but it's quite uh, interesting too. Um, so, uh, Muse and Now, um, what what was it about? Um, the question. Um, Alibaran asked me uh, a year ago was, uh, why would a robot like now enter a museum or an exhibition center? Um, it's, um, it's, it, it was for, for the business part of Aldebaran, not the technical one, uh, because, because they saw uh, uh, something that was quite interesting, uh, is that uh, now was already in museums. Uh, you got nows in many, many museums, science museums, um, generally. Um, and, uh, and uh, the problem is, um, uh, if if you don't use now as a as a as a tool for for workshops to learn to code, you're using it as an automat. So that's uh, what's happening notably in uh, Shanghai and uh, and uh, and Chicago, where you got nows. Um, it's quite fun because uh, in in Shanghai they they. You got a guy who is paid to bring the, the now every 15 uh, or 30 million, I don't know, and put the now in a, on a scene. So you got hundreds of people around, and he's dancing for 10 minutes. And the guy takes the now back in the in the in the closet because you don't want to to people to take the, the now. So that's that's the sort of uh, interaction you got today with uh, with now. Um, and uh, and you got in uh, in uh, Chicago, I think. Um, they, they, they put the, the robot um, in on a, on a, they, they plug in uh, plug him on a, on a, um, on a stool so so he's, he basically can't move he just he just uh, is like, like uh, attached to a, to a, to a pole so because because uh, that's the only way you could make it make him work for for eight hours without uh, having trouble. So so that's that's what Aldebaran is seeing today, and uh, and they asked me to uh, to to gather some museum professionals, so of people from uh, science museums, people from regular museums, um, and uh, and uh, ask them, but what what could we do with uh, something like uh, now in a museum? Um, and, um, and the thing that was interesting is that uh, um, we did this in, uh, in London and Paris. Uh, we did uh, two, two creative groups, and uh, both of them were very, very uh, interesting. And I will try to, uh, to give you the main, uh, the main ideas. So that's a lot. There are a lot of ideas who came out from this, uh, these things. Um, I will try to sum it up. Here you get the. The, what I could call the mind map of it, um, and um, we, we will see. I, I will try to talk you through uh, this, this different, uh, this different bubbles. But uh, what's in, interesting is that they, they all talk about something, and uh, we will see uh, what about in the in the end of this talk. Uh, the first thing, the first main idea was now tell story in a museum. Uh, that's very uh, very 
the, the most the so most central thing is uh, Tao now as a as a storytelling tool. So, so for example, uh, you got this one that's uh, very good that you will probably see because the uh, Science Museum in London was there. Uh, it's called Robots Family. So you got uh, you got now introduced the history of robots. And, uh, and uh, presenting the member of his family, he talks about his grandpa, who is a bit, uh, you know, he, he doesn't move anymore. Uh, and he talks about the evolution of robotics, and he's a bit afraid of his uh, American uh, cousins uh, from the U.S. Army. So, um, so that's, that's uh, some sort of things you could, uh, you could work on. With, uh, with uh, now in the middle of the, of the, of the room, uh, showing around the different robots, uh, coming to life, Actually, and, and showing the, the different robots, um, you got things like um, uh, where, where actually the robot is um, 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 very interesting is um, is how you use the robot uh, the robot gesture to uh, to to pass a message. Um, the, the very important thing about the now is uh, despite. Uh, um, um, is is a, is is really is a body behavior and and his body language. So uh, with with now you could you could uh, um, actually recreate the the uh, the movements of of um, um, uh, workmanship of craftsmanship like a porter, a carpenter, a sculptor. You could explain these gestures um, without having a guide uh, trying to to mimic the the uh, um, the, the, the content of the visit. So that's that's one. Um, one that's uh, also interesting is uh, now plays a part. Um, so now is um, that, that's that was for the Grand Palais uh, um, to have now mime, mime the Emperor Augustus. So he's, uh, he's actually playing uh, um, on on the thing on the fact that he's really different from uh, an emperor. But but uh, as as is um, I, I would say this. He has an image of, of a very uh, uh, that was that was said this morning is a um, uh, is very um, what I would call the, a very good design. Like it works in every uh, every sort of condition, and that's very good to uh, to create uh, um, uh, distanciating uh, um, animation like this one. Um, or also you could do uh, now plays uh, plays a robot. Uh, he triggers hypermodule. It, he, uh, he, uh, he manipulates a time vector. So, so he's playing uh, the actual robots in a science fiction uh, uh, in a science fiction part, if you want. Um, okay. Um, another thing is uh, Nawa's personality. That's something that very very important um, is, um, is the fact that um, Nao is um, could be. Um, misbehaving, and that we we saw that we, you saw the reaction uh, this morning when when Carl asked uh, now to do something, and he answered uh, get lucky. You you saw that reaction. That's exactly uh, the, the 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 most interesting thing about now is he, he has this uh, this sort of uh, um, I don't know um, displaced moment where where he's not answering to what you ask, and that's very interesting uh, from uh, from. Um, a design perspective, because that means uh, um, now is able to uh, to create uh, um, some some sort of um, uh, how could I say that is is um, it, it's okay for him to misbehave. It's okay for him to to have the wrong answer. It's not a problem because he is a robot. He is uh, an expression of human being. It's not a human being, so you can't you you, you don't judge him as a someone uh, as a as someone actually. So that's that's that difference that uh, some would say that uncanny valley is actually something that's um, very interesting for to tell story and to uh, to to. Um, Change the, the 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 way you interact with the public. You, you got question? No, no. Sorry. Okay. Um, um, now with Miss Maving, um, what do we have here? Um, yeah, is uh, is showing what's behind the behind the scene. It's showing uh, ex unexpected things in the museum. Um, like like also uh, um, now ask asks questions. See, it's, it's the fact that now is not necessarily a tool to learn, uh, a tool to teach people things. Maybe it's just there to uh, to ask them questions, to to uh, to reveal, maybe to reveal uh, f things by by himself behaving like a member of the public. 
Um, and uh, take care of now, so a uh, now TD also, that's uh, re really interesting, because it's not the way you, you imagine a regular tool in a museum, where in museums, normally the tools, the, the digital tools are there to, uh, to uh, make you learn things, to understand things. And this uh, means that you, you change that behavior. You, you make the, actually the people care for now, and in return, they got uh, they got uh, uh, interesting things they, they could learn about the museum. Um, I will just uh, go through because uh, you got a lot of them. Um, so around this you got play with now. Uh, now plays rock, pe paper, scissors. I, I won't go through this because uh, it's already things that exa exist. Um, one interesting thing is how you, uh, you make the... Um, um, the, the, the now working group too, because in a museum it's a big place. You can't really have now following you, so you could just have a, a now a different point of the museum, and it's 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 like a, it's like a, um, a, uh, it creates like a rhythm in the in the uh, uh, in the visit where uh, you start by by um, um, being introduced to a uh, to a now uh, that will give you a quest. Then you will go to another part of the museum where you will find another now that will give you another quest and so on. So that that sort of uh, of um, of clues and quests through, throughout the museum is, uh, is actually a very interesting uh, uh, idea of a treasure hunt, uh, something the museums are, are, are working on uh, quite, quite, uh, quite a lot. Um, 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 now as a tool of, for, for, for a living lab, um, so that that's was something the Science Museum wanted absolutely because uh, that's the first use of now uh, today. We saw it uh, uh, this morning. We saw it in the in the different workshop and things. It's a now is designed to be a tool to learn to code to learn to robotics to to be introduced to this and and uh, it's not necessarily um, uh, so so it's a, it's a all uh, all um, all field of uh, ideas that are actually uh, uh, more more in uh, in, um, um, in, in line with what we are doing today. For example, see, it's, a, it's a now uh, where, where you, you organize a workshop with children around body language and emotions. Uh, in, now, in now's earth, you show how now is dealing with his environment. You show what he's watching, uh, what he's sensing, what he's hearing. Here, here we are, we are, it's very important. We, we are, we're not on the thing on the on the um, the part of uh, the the study where uh, actually uh, now is is um, is uh, um, thought as as a as a part of the mediation in the museum. It's more like now as a tool to to learn science and to uh, and to be intro um, introduced to that, that sort of uh, uh, no, notably all the the um, to learn code and things like that. Um, and uh, now in the community, uh, also uh, important, so that's an extension on, uh, on the now, now place. Um, I would just go a bit quicker, maybe. So now welcomes, um, now welcomes uh, people in the museums. So um, that's, that's also uh, something that's important. It was said this morning, uh, now is not a, a, a screen. So it's not, a, it's not a flat things where you could put uh, 10, 20 people maximum. Uh, it's, a, it's a focal um, um, uh, 3D object. So it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a physical object. So it means that uh, it, it will be the center point of attention. And, uh, and, um, and um, um, that, that creates something that's very important for museums where, where you, you want uh, people to actually uh, um, you, you need you need uh, um, uh, areas where, where people could could be around the robot and and see uh, and see what he's doing and and maybe interacting with him. But uh, we know it's difficult when you got too many people. But um, that's that's important. Um, uh, just uh, seeing if I miss something. Um, yeah. Now works. This one is quite fun if you know uh, the, the English uh, way of uh, uh, showing the weather. Uh, now works on a map of the museums and tells people what is special and interesting in different places, like Fred's weather's map. So I, I don't know if anyone knows Fred's weather's map. No, not at all. Uh, it's actually uh, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a guy who is uh, explaining the weather on the, on the, I, don't, I think it was BBC or something, and um, he works on a map of uh, of uh, UK. 
to, to explain what's the weather in every uh, area. And the, the fun of it is that he has to jump to go to Ireland, and uh, most of the time he, he felt. Um, so that, that's, that's, but that's, uh, that's another idea that was quite fun. Um, now we will hidden, uh, hidden details. Um, so now explores an unattainable place because it's, it's far away, uh, like the museum storage, but also uh, more far like the, the, the particle collider. Um, um, yeah, now has his own car, has his own car, and visits the museums at Ch Chagrin site. This one is quite fun because you could do a lot of things like that. Um, he builds a, a UV lamp, and um, and that reveals hidden secrets when uh, when. Uh, uh, but hidden secrets, games, and other parts that are dedicated to children and at their at their height. So like like it's showing on on the wall different things that are. Um, Hidden for for adult people. Um, okay, just carry on. Um, now handles. Um, that's uh, also uh, the, the idea that uh, is very small, so you could make him uh, operate a very large machine, uh, and that's that's it's quite fun also as a, as an idea. So you see, it was very um, very diverse. Uh, from that work, we we kept four ideas. Um, I, I won't go in details in this because because um, you you I, I, I will give you at the end if you want the, the link to the, to the full report. But uh, we we detailed every one of these projects. Um, you got now a map where now is at the start at the start of the museum and explains what's happening. Uh, um, talk to people and and show them things that are that are. Uh, not necessarily uh, um, uh, visible on on the screens that are very informative in the museum at the at the at the welcome part of the museum. Uh, now, cart where now is on a on a tr uh, um, how do you say um, is on a on a cart uh, uh, something you you push around. So you got a guide who push the, the the robot around, and at certain points the robot stops and uh, and uh, and there's a, dis a discussion between the robot and the guide. Um, also, you got uh, now nose where now that's that's the robot family one where now is in the middle of other other um, um, other uh, robots or work of art and points to different objects, um, and and uh, you got uh, all sorts of sequences around this. And uh, now it translates. That's the idea of now as a tool uh, to translate. Um, 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 the, the language for, for deaf people. Uh, how do you say that? I don't, I don't mean. Uh, and um, sign, language. sign language. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so now translate sign, sign uh, 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 the language of uh, of uh, of um, yeah, that that's very long. Maybe difficult idea, but quite an interesting one. Where you have uh, the the. Um, the guide with a, with a, with a, a, mic a microphone, and uh, now will will take keywords in this, in what he says to uh, to to uh, to play the the different uh, language the different sign that that are uh, related. So that that could be uh, also an interesting thing, even if a bit uh, difficult to do, probably. Um, so just to simplify a bit the the, the study. Um, what we learn um, and uh, what's very uh, important beyond the museum, I think uh, we saw it this morning, and, uh, and that's the, exactly the same idea, but uh, from a different point of view, so that's quite good. I'm uh, quite happy about that. Um, now is not a digital tool. Um, and if you ask museums, they have enough digital tools. They got uh, iPhone apps, they got uh, iPad, they got uh, uh, all sorts of screens. You're, you're a bit invaded by, uh, the, the museum is invaded by screens. Uh, so you, you got, you got uh, this, and, and actually now is not a digital tool. Not, not as the museum thinks about it. Uh, it's not a guide either. It's not human. It's not. It doesn't have, and we saw it this morning uh, quite quite uh, accurately uh, for for the, the autistic children. Um, it is not. It doesn't have the, the whole uh, package that comes with a human being. 
Uh, it's more like a synthesis of a, of a human being. So that's very, very interesting. So what is he, really? Um, in a museum, it could be uh, Jiminy Cricket. And that's, um, that that make, uh, may make you smile, but that's actually very important. Because um, um, if you think about it, in a, in a Disney mu movie, um, now is exactly the, the, the kind of uh, character you find in a Disney movie. It's like an, an expression of human being, uh, an expression of being human, but uh, with, with, uh, with um, 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 simplification, things that make it uh, actually look uh, uh, and, uh, and behave uh, not li like, uh, like um, uh, on a different level than a, a human being. And... Um, so that's why he can do all this. He can uh, misbehave. He can, he can actually uh, be a bit cheeky, like uh, not, not really behave like you want. And, and the reaction of people will never be um, to, to, to feel uh, um, um, attacked by this. And that's very interesting. Um, he, he could play with the public, like, like, where a guide can't really play with the public. He has, a, he has a, the, the, the human guide as, as the, the position of teaching people things. And that's something uh, actually now doesn't need uh, and doesn't have. Um, he could tell stories. And uh, that also, we also see what it means uh, uh, from a, from a uh, more, more programming uh, perspective. Um, and he could boss the digital tools. Uh, so... And being, being himself from the, the, the digital uh, uh, ascendancy, we could say, um, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a being uh, among digital tools. So he could be actually the boss of the digital experience in a museum, saying, uh, uh, turning on a light, uh, turning on uh, so, some music, uh, changing what's happening on the screens. Uh, and it's a bit the idea also behind paper. So, so it could be, uh, uh, it, it, I'm sure it will be, uh, it will be tried uh, in, in the following, following where, uh, years. And uh, to uh, finish, um, so, some sort of ideas, uh, more on, uh, I would say, um, uh, things you could do, uh, things uh, that could be done for, for now and, uh, and, uh, and, um, and the, the following uh, um, uh, robots. Um, the first thing I saw that was um, a bit, um, 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 it, it's a, we need an animation library. Uh, there's something in, a, in a, when you see, when you look at, uh, at uh, the, the community right now, you got a lot, all sorts of animations, uh, some that are in, inside uh, different applications, uh, some that are, uh, they, they're all uh, scattered around. And you got very talented people who, who, who create very good animation with a robot, but um, there's no uh, central central module to gather these animations. Uh, so have a, uh, some sort of animation library you could use uh, uh, in a text, and uh, rich storytelling tool gathering text animations and sounds. So that's that's an idea of uh, what could be a, a rich box, uh, a rich text box. Um, it's, a, it's a, like, like a, like a re, uh, rich say you got, uh, like, like a, a box say, uh, say box you got already in a, in a choreograph. But uh, with, with things like a, a body talk, so it, it's talking like a storyteller, so he has a certain tone. Uh, oye, oye, fine ladies and gentlemen. And you got trumpets, so you, you add this. It's, it's like really uh, the idea of having an, a user interface where you could actually write easily some stories with now. Like trumpets, so, uh, so he's, uh, he's playing the trumpets. Uh, Come on, oh yeah, and uh, he's stamping foot. Uh, today I will tell you the story of the, brass, the brave horse riding uh, knight Roland. The good King Charlemagne really liked Roland. And uh, he changed his voice, so he has another body talk where he's more like a king. Uh, to young Roland, I trust you with the rear guard of my armies. It's a great honor. You must defend the rear, whatever the cost. Even if it means all your men uh, have to die. And then he, he, he playing the sword. So that's that's really the idea. And and he's, he's switching back to uh, to storyteller. So really the idea of uh, having a tool to actually uh, write stories with uh, now something we you can't have really right now. You need you need a, um, um, a background. To, to create uh, such stories and 
that, that could be very, very useful. Um, autonomous behavior, balancing animation, uh, balancing animation, recharge, and cool down. Um, so in a museum, you need uh, to, that, that's a really good testing uh, environment for uh, an autonomous robot because uh, you need your robot to, be, uh, to, work, to work for eight hours. That doesn't mean it needs to, uh, to actually uh, do things for eight hours, but at least it needs, uh, it means you, you don't need someone to look after him every 10 minutes to, to, make, uh, to, to, to store him for, for half an hour so he, so he could be recharged. Uh, so so that, that's a really, uh, a, a really important need if you want to, uh, to work in a museum. The other thing it means is it, it's that you need uh, uh, two robots. Uh, because because you can't just have one robot. It's not like uh, like um, like for your university where if you, the robot doesn't work, you can still do things. Um, in a museum, you're 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 programming uh, animations, so you need the robot to be there, uh, whatever happens. So that that's that's more a problem for for Aldebaran, but that's an important one. Um, now, as a controller for external digital tools, so I know it exists, but uh, uh, that's, that's also uh, something that's, that's um, really important. Uh, so it could, uh, it could um, move around screen, lights, sound, so you, you have interfaces to do that, but, uh, but how do you make it uh, um, integrated in the, in the package? Uh, quantitative and qualitative evaluation, so that's very important for a museum, and we saw it this morning uh, uh, for the, for the um, autistic uh, children. It's a bit the same idea, except it's the public. Um, if you, you need your robot to, to be also a tool to, um, to gather information about your public. Uh, who they are, how many they are, uh, uh, and, and all, all these important, all these things are, are very important for museums. And they don't have any tools actually to do that right now. So if we could use the robot, um, and, and then uh, some carpentry and setting. So that's more the job of the museum, but uh, uh, it's quite important. So um, you need a, you need a set. Uh, for, for now, it could be different for paper, but for now you need a set because it's very small. Uh, it's, um, it needs to be, it's a bit fragile, so, so you need, uh, you can't really have him in the middle of the people. You can't have him uh, as, as, a, as the robot you got in the Tate, where, where the, the robot, uh, you, you can navigate the robot for, during the night. It can't move very far, so, so it, it needs to be a set. Or, or uh, with the now uh, in the middle. So that, that's it really about um, this, uh, this, uh, this feedback about this, this uh, um, exploration uh, study. Do you have any questions? Yeah? Yes. I have one question about security. Yeah. Security for people, but also for the Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Chicago, uh, Shanghai. For me, the main drawback is about security. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and my first question is, is it still available now in Shanghai and Chicago? Or did you, is the experience still I, running? Or oh, I think they're still running, yeah. Yes. But I don't, um, I've no... Every day, like, yeah, yeah, the guy. And, uh, and uh, you, can, you can see videos on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, crazy. <laughs> People. Yeah, um, but that's that's the, what I said. The answer: you need you need uh, to have a, a proper stool, a proper uh, scene on on which the robot is actually uh, um, um, is not in the middle of the of the public. Uh, so so you need you need a proper, for example, for uh, now um, uh, now knows. Um, where, where now was a, uh, is imagine in the middle of uh, other robots or other work of art, actually is not in the public area. It's now it's more like a, on a stool on a, on, a, on maybe behind a glass, but you could you could do things where where actually today in, a, in museums I don't know if you uh, see that, but um, when, when you you try to reach uh, beyond beyond. Uh, uh, certain point you got alarms that that's switching off just and you remove your hand and that's it so that sort of things will be necessary for a robot like now if you got bigger third year robot maybe could be different but that's uh, yeah yeah that's an issue sure maybe pepper 
A pair could be the answer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because the moment you take it away, you put the note in contact, you can make it very big note. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but you can just take it But that's, that's, um, that, that's, that's, that's still, yeah, it's still, it's still solvable. As a problem, it's solvable. You could find answers to that because that's, that's actually been the work of museums for, for uh, years and years. So they know how to do that sort of, that part, security part. I think they got two, but that's it, really. And yeah, that's, that's it. Basically, you need one in each room. Huh? You need one in each museum room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Could be. Uh, it, it will probably happen for, for the. Uh, there's an exhibition on the science museums. Uh, um, I think it's next year or the year after, I don't know. And they, they, um, they, they, they will definitely work with Aldemar. Yeah? Uh, the idea. Uh, so, so it's written in the in the report uh, more more detailed. Uh, but uh, the idea is that um, um, and that was that was some works uh, um, uh, Aldebaran was conducting. So they, they told me it's possible. Um, uh, you 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 got a base where the robot can go back at different at uh, when it's finished basically, and it, it, it stay on his uh, on his uh, on his seat. And it could, it could still move uh, um, um, with a limit of, of it, of course, but it could still move and talk. And, and when it, when it's recharged, it, it goes back to a, to a cycle of, uh, of standing animations. But what about the motor? The motor, it? Motor, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that's the same, uh, the same idea. When, uh, you, you, uh, I, I don't. I don't know about the answers for that, but I know. I know Aldebaran was working on it. So just uh, that. That actually for overheating is the same same idea. You you put the, the robot in a, in a, on its own is going back to. A, but yeah, that's that's the t theory, of course. Yeah. Do you have the feedback of the visitors themselves? Uh, on the robot? Yeah. No. No, because uh, there's no there's no. Um, there's no real experiment like this right now. So uh, you, you, you just have the robot as, a, as, a, as an automat or as a, as a tool for living lab, but that's it. So you don't have really a feedback on, on, a, on a, that sort of things. It's a really, uh, I don't know, really uh, some things that, that will happen hopefully in the following years, but yeah. Yeah. I love this idea of now misbehaving in a Yeah. So I love this idea that maybe sort of museum curators that kind of have this alter ego that exists exactly. The, exactly. The, the robots. So the idea of now misbehaving, uh, how did you actually do that? Did you put things in the program to make the now tell the So yeah. It could be it could be um, um, you you could you could do um, you could do tricks to do that. Uh, uh, so I'm not talking about a really advanced thing, but it's recreating the sort of glitch we saw this morning, where the, actually the robot is not uh, behaving as is expected. So you could do that really easily, actually. You'd like the robot is asking a question, uh, uh, what do you want to do next, for example? And it's not even listening to the answer. It says, no, actually, I have a better idea. There, there is a robot uh, family uh, exhibition just right the corner. Let's go to there. And that's a, the sort of behaviors. So you have to write it a little bit, of course. And, but, but it's uh, really accessible normally. You, you could do it. And, and um, of course, of course uh, uh, the, the, if we could advance towards uh, something where the robot is actually misbehaving for a good reason, because, because the, it's, it's, uh, it's part of his, the interaction with the public, of course, it, it could be nice. But, but uh, you could still do some tricks, of course, to, uh, to, to play with that sort of behaviors, create that sort of behaviors. But if you need a misbehavior robot, we have a toddler that misbehaves a lot. Oh, <laughs> <So> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good idea. Yeah. Great, great idea. 
Yeah. One advantage uh, in the museum is that the people don't come every day. Yeah. So, uh, exactly. So that's kind of a show, even if it is scripted after a uh, Sure, if you come every day and you see again the same script, then you get bored. Yeah, and yeah. It's an automaton, you know? But if it's only once and you come next year and, you know. Exactly. That, that's, that's a really good point. And that's why, uh, that's why also Aldebaran was very interested in this because uh, it's a really, a really good testing ground for the robot. Because you could create some behaviors like this and, and uh, enrich them. Uh, and, and it will still be uh, um, very interesting for the, the new people who are coming. And uh, even if they will, they will just stay 10 minutes in front of a robot, they won't stay very long. So, so you, got, you got all the testing for, for, for the robot, like uh, he has to do something for eight hours, I don't know what. Uh, he has to, uh, to, to do cycles of 10 to, to 15 minutes of, uh, of uh, interacting with the public. Uh, it's, it's very good uh, on testing environment, but uh, yeah. Other questions? Okay, I think we are done. Okay. Thank you.